What's up guys, I'm Ivan Calderon and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to tune your 808s in Studio One 3. I can't tell you how many times I come across some really great beats that have 808s out of tune. Now ideally you'd want to have all your 808s tuned to C. Reason being is because once you actually import into your DAW, that'll actually match up perfectly with your keyboard or the piano roll. However, not all 808s come tuned in C. Some come tuned differently, and ultimately that results in you playing the wrong notes whenever you're making beats. Luckily, Studio One has an easy fix for this, so let's jump right in. Okay, so now we're in Studio One. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna load up your sampler. Every DAW has a version of this. FL Studio has Edison, Logic has, I actually don't know what Logic has. But in, Sam in Studio One, we have Sample One. So if you go under the Browse tab here, then hit Instruments, and then hit um, Vendor, Personas, Sample one. All you have to do is just drag and drop. I already have one open, so I'm just gonna use that. Boom, there it is. So this is our sampler, and all you have to do at this point is literally just drag over your 808. So I'm gonna pick one here. Boom. Automatically, we see the audio wave. Now, if I start playing on my keyboard, I should be hearing that 808. Because essentially what happens, it, it, it takes that audio wave and it spreads it across your keyboard. Now this is where producers go wrong. They'll start programming their 808s without first checking to see what they're tuned to. And if you do that, that's kind of like shooting darts in the dark. Now what I do and what I recommend you do is check to see what the 808 is tuned to first and then adjust accordingly. So to do that, it's quite simple. All you have to do is go over to the mixer, go over to the track or the channel where your sample one was placed. And I'm actually gonna name that 808 so we don't get confused. We're gonna go ahead and open that up and we're gonna insert a tuner. Boom, there it is. So, what we wanna do at this point is you wanna play the middle C. Now, the middle C is usually C4 because on an 88 keyboard, it's the fourth C from the left. Now, if you have a 49 keyboard or a 61 like I do, it's gonna be the third C from the left. So if you take a look here at mine, I'm gonna play a piano here. We have one, two, three. That's my middle C. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the middle C and see what note the tuner is telling me that it actually is. So let's go back to the 808. I'm gonna play that C. So if you, if you just saw, when I played the C key on my MIDI keyboard, it actually played an F sharp. So we know that if we've gone ahead and started programming, our 808 would have been out of key or out of tune. So to, to fix this, it's easy. You go back to your sample one, and if you take a look at the top left, we have a small parameter here that says root and C3. All you have to do is literally take that note that you saw on the tuner and put it where it says root. So if we take a look again, F sharp, and it was actually F sharp zero. So we just go in here, double click, hit F sharp zero, enter, and that automatically tuned your 808. Because now, if I play a C3, it's actually a C3 that I'm playing. So all you have to do at this point now is just bring it down a couple octaves because 808s are not that high pitched. So on my keyboard here, I actually have an area called octave, and I'm gonna go down until everything sounds good, so. Okay, that sounds good. So I went down three octaves. Your keyboard might have the same feature, and if it doesn't, then just go to your piano roll and bring that note all the way down to where it sounds about right. But at this point, you're pretty much done. You just kind of have to get rid of all this, go in here and create a MIDI region for your 808, uh, go and choose the key that you want to work in, lock that in, boom, and the piano roll is going to tell you what notes to play. Now, if you want more information on that feature, I actually just did a video last week explaining my top three features of Studio One 3, which includes this and two more, so definitely check that out. But that is it. That is how you tune your 808s in Studio One 3. Nothing too complicated, but hopefully this video was helpful to you guys, and now your beats will even be that much better. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys tuning in. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, but I will see you guys on the next one.